Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we're getting nice and weird with the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia as we are going to examine the slow glory that is the Noro Noro no Mi. The Nora Nora no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to generate a fictional substance known as Norama photons, a particle that is apparently yet to be fully understood in the One Piece world, but has the incredible effect of significantly slowing anything down that they come into contact with. This strange fruit was consumed by the even stranger Foxy and was first used during the Long Ring Longland arc. The Noro Noro no Mi takes its name directly from the Japanese word Noro Noro, essentially meaning slowly or sluggish, which makes sense given the effect of the photons. However, just on that, the particles themselves take their name from the word Noroma, which can mean something along the lines of gullible, idiot, or generally thick in the head. This name was likely given to the particles as a joke referencing its user in the series Foxy, who very much fits that description. Funimation went on to translate these as slow-mo photons, while Viz decided to go with slowpoke photons. But as for the fruit itself, both Viz and Funimation chose to translate its name rather simply as the slow slow fruit. All right, so despite the made up scientific jargon, the use of the Nora Nora no Mi is fairly simple, as what it essentially boils down to is firing a beam, and then anything that comes into contact with said beam is slowed down by approximately 30 seconds. I want to emphasize that whatever comes into contact with the beam is slowed down, not frozen, and as such will still continue to move as it naturally would, just at a mere fraction of its normal speed. However, immediately after the 30 seconds has passed, the effect of the fruit wears off, and the target is returned to normal. So initially, the Nora Nora no Mi presents itself as a very, very useful utility, for preventing mildly annoying situations, such as spilling a glass of wine. Because if the user were to act fast enough, then they could buy themselves an extra 30 seconds to try and minimize the damage done to their pristine white carpet. However, this fruit very much acts like a get out of jail free card for significantly more threatening situations as well. So long as you're aware of your surroundings, you are pretty much immune to accidents. Like getting hit by a car, for example. You could just slow the car and casually step out of the way to safety. And of course, this incredible usefulness very much extends to combat as well. A competent user of the Nora Nora no Mi should, in theory, never be able to be hit by most opponents because you can just keep slowing your opponent down. However, simply reducing their speed alone will not win you a conflict, but the Nora Nora no Mi does cater for the user though with the wonderful ability of who or whatever the target is being able to store kinetic energy. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you have a moronic fox with its head split in two, Luffy's words, not mine, and you punch said fox with a powerful fist. Normally, the fox would be sent flying. However, if the fox is the victim of the Nora Nora no Mi, then that punch won't do anything. Not for 30 seconds anyway. The kinetic energy generated by the strike will be stored within the fox victim and activate at full force once the Nora Nora beam has worn off. Now this is of particular interest because now instead of dealing the damage of a single punch, the user now has 30 seconds to punch the target as many times as they see fit with the accumulated damage all taking effect at once, very potentially leveling the playing field should the user be up against someone significantly stronger than they. With all of this said, it should be noted that the user of the Nora Nora no Mi is not immune from the effects of the fruit should the Nora photons make contact with them. Now, why would the user want to do this? Well, I guess there are a handful of situations, but the more likely answer is that they've accidentally come into contact with them. Like say they fired their Nora Nora beam at a mirror and photons being photons, they get reflected, causing the user to be cursed with a 30 second slowdown, during which time the world can do as it pleases with them, which usually ends up in a very unhappy fox. But mirrors and reflective surfaces in general are a huge weakness to the user of the Nora Nora no Mi. And in fact, I'd go so far as to say that a fruit like the Mirror Mirror no Mi is pretty much the natural counter of this fruit. Just imagine. Imagine that battle though. Splithead versus Branch, I'd be keen. And with that in mind, we should take some time to examine how Foxy makes use of the Nora Nora no Mi. And the answer is actually with an incredible sense of creativity. Foxy is a legitimate genius. Yes, I said genius, who over-engineers complex solutions to problems that nobody actually asked to be solved. A great example of this would be the Foxy fighter technique, whereby he slows down a cannonball, then mounts the cannonball with a wooden fighter. And then once the beam has worn off, he is sent flying towards his opponent at an incredible speed. And he has countless fascinating creative uses of the fruit. In fact, if he spent half the energy on some sort of legitimate training that he puts into crafting ingenious methods of cheating and sucker punching, then he'd be a pretty decent threat within the One Piece world. However, as it is, Foxy's use of the Nora Nora no Mi is primarily rooted in glorious comedy. That really isn't the end of this fruit though, because there exists a pretty terrifying possibility when it comes to the idea of awakening. Due to the somewhat unique nature of this paramecia, I'd hesitate to say that the user would be able to morph their environment into Nora photons, although I won't deny that that is a possibility. The idea I find more interesting 
interesting though, is that the user is able to increase the emission of photons in a spherical-like manner within a certain radius. Somewhat like the equivalent of the room ability of the Ope Ope no Mi, except that the user of the Nora Nora no Mi would craft a zone whereby everything except the user would be slowed down for 30 seconds or something like that. Or perhaps an awakening could see the user increase the potency of the Nora Nora photons and allow them to slow things down by even more than 30 seconds, perhaps minutes or even hours. Whatever the case, I'd be incredibly excited to see what this fruit has to offer. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a slow human. In regards to the user being able to invoke the power on themselves, I have seen the idea floating around that the user could activate this to artificially extend their life by consistently slowing down their body. And I mean very consistently, like you'd have to be doing this for hours upon hours of a day. So there's that drawback, but it's also just incredibly unlikely to work because the fruit does not freeze time, it simply slows it. Meaning that once time is up, all of that aging will catch up with you just as the kinetic energy does. The regular usage of the Nora Nora Beam is not the only avenue available to the user, as it is also possible to craft other forms with Norama photons, such as the Noro Noro Beam Sword, being struck by which has the exact same effect as the regular beam. To conclude, the Noro Noro no Mi is a pretty fantastic little Paramecia fruit. It's incredibly unique, being potentially devastating in combat and having a great variety of uses, which as Foxy proves, is really only limited to the imagination of the user. It does have a potential weakness to reflective surfaces, but at the same time, a skilled user could use those reflections to their advantage, so I feel like it does balance out quite nicely. A super cool fruit that I would more than likely eat with very few questions asked. And with that, we are going to commit the Nora Nora no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we're done slowing things down, and we'll be looking at freezing them entirely as we step back into Logia Town with the Here Here no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Noro Noro no Me. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.